We, we were in a real great position last year in some ways, and we were in a bit of a sort of a schmozzle in other ways. But um, we were being snopped. We were at the point where we had to decide what we were going to do in a year's time when our servers came out of warranty. We were looking at a situation where we had an infrastructure that was really complicated, that was quite ad hoc and added on to. And we, we also were finding that all the PD we did with our teachers to try and help them to be ambitious with their e-learning in their classrooms was really sometimes falling on deaf ears because they didn't have confidence in our infrastructure. They, they tried it, they'd been burnt, it had fallen down, and they went back to the traditional model because it was safe. And so um, the e-learning team and the ICT team recognized that we really had to get the infrastructure sorted, future-proofed, and for two reasons because there was no point in trying to encourage our staff to be ambitious and, and really engage with e-learning unless they were going to have a good experience and it was going to add benefit to the classroom. And the other big point was that we actually didn't have the money to do the PD and to have all of these fantastic tools for learning if we were having to pay for these $100,000, $150,000 um, bills to replace servers every three to four years. So we, we met as a team of e-learners, I suppose, we tried to focus on what we wanted in the classroom as a starting point, and then we went out to the different companies and said, can you give us your take on how we achieve this? And the great thing that I suppose um, we got from the PC Media team was that they, they weren't shackled with the old business models where they needed to sell us a server and take the percentage on the server. They needed their local guy, because he was employed on a permanent contract, to keep needing to be here 30 hours a week and maintaining those servers. And so we, the quotes that we got, and we got a quite a wide range of quotes, were from you know, a lot of money being spent on putting things potentially into a future-proof state and the cloud, a hell of a lot of money being spent on almost replicating what we bought five years ago, or four years ago, and, and variations in between. And um, whilst at the time some people said, you're mad, you can't rely on M4L, it's untested. Um, you need a Fortigate server and a firewall and just, you know, what if that M4L thing doesn't say what it, you know, do what it says on the tin. Um, we, we actually thought, well, no, we, we're, we're in a contract with M4L, whether we're paying them or not. They say that they're going to provide these things. I think we need, to, we need to try it. And on the whole, it's been a real success. Um, we, have, we are projecting to um, be able to reallocate some of our budget for this year to PD and it wouldn't have been there before. And also we're finding that some of the things that did our head in uh, last year um, have, have been eradicated by almost rebuilding the system. So um, that's partly why we agreed to host this sort of event tonight. We do believe that the people that we were relying on in the past were maybe for one reason or another stuck in an old paradigm that was meaning that we weren't able to move forward and we do want to open people's eyes to the fact that we need to maybe challenge some of the old ways of doing it and be a bit bold about, about some of the opportunities that are out there.